Okay, good day. So today we are going to discuss another method for the computation of uh, the roots of a nonlinear equation. We have the bisection uh, method. Okay, so this method is uh, similar to the incremental search uh, method. So for example, we have this uh, function. And then we are to introduce okay, our interval. Let's say our lower limit is this is at x equal to a upper limit. Let's say this is at x equal to uh, b. So one condition is that, for example, we have the equivalent of f of a, or the value of f of a should be a negative value, and the value of f of b should be a positive uh, value, or vice uh, versa. So again, we can have okay, f of a will give us a negative value, f of b will give us a positive uh, value, or vice versa. f of a will give positive value and f of b will give us a negative uh, value so negative to positive just to make sure that this function will intersect the x-axis wherein we are computing for that uh, root since we are looking for the equivalent of that function at this x value should be equal to uh, 0 to determine the uh, root alright so again one condition we are to observe the change in a sign from negative to positive or from positive to uh, negative. So for bisection method, we are going to use the average of these two uh, limits. We have a plus a b divided by two, just to narrow down our uh, interval as we go closer to the okay, to the value of uh, the root. So we may replace the value of a by the value of c. We, we, we may also replace the value of b by the value of c whichever is closer to the uh, root. So for example, we are able to uh, determine the value of c, let's say, okay, this is at x is equal to c, which, which is somehow closer to 0, then we may replace a with c. Or the other way around, for example, we have at this uh, point, which is okay, at x is also equal to c, which is, let's say, at this value is closer to 0 compared to this one, we may replace B by uh, C. So, whichever is uh, closer. So, again, we are, okay, the, the goal is, okay, for this function to be equal to uh, 0, okay, for us to, to compute that, the root. Okay, let's have an example. So let's have one example. So we have the function f of x equal to x squared minus 3. Our initial interval is from 1 to 2. We are to stop the iteration when the difference of our limits will be okay, less than 0, uh, 1. So starting with the limits, initial limits, we have 1, 2. It's equivalent of f of a, that is the same as 1 squared minus 3, this is negative 2. Then we have f of b. That is 2 squared minus 3, this is positive uh, 1. We are to take the average of our initial limits. 1 plus 3 is 3 divided by 2, this is 1.5. And we are to take what is the equivalent of f of c, that is 1.5 squared okay, less uh, 3. And we have that as a negative, this is negative 0 0.75. Okay, we have to observe this value. Uh, since it is negative, you are to observe the last negative value of the function from your initial uh, limits. From our initial limits, the one that gives the negative value is f of a. This is negative 2. Then you are to observe which one is closer to 0. Okay? Negative yung nakuha natin, ano yung last negative value from our initial limit? In yung a is equal to 1. Nagbigay siya ng negative 2. Then you observe din yung sinong mas malapit sa 0? Negative 2 or negative 0.75 So medyo obvious naman na mas malapit yung negative 0.75 to 0 compared to negative 2 So therefore, we are to replace this value We are to replace A with the value of uh, C Since this is now the value of uh, A That will be the same as 2 minus 1.5 So the difference is 0.5 Okay, so take note, we are to approach a 0 uh, 
So we have now the new limits. The value of A now is the value of C. This is 1.5. Uh, the value of B will, be, uh, will remain. This is a uh, 2. F of A is the same as negative 0 0.75. F of B is the same as a uh, 1. Then again, we are to average our new limits. 1.5 plus 2, this is divided by a uh, 2. So the new average is 1.75. Then 1.75 squared less a uh, 3. So we have this time a positive value. This is 0 0.06. To a 5. Alright, so we have a positive value. We need to observe okay, which limit gives the last positive value. Right, the last limit that gives a positive value is 2. It gives positive a 1. So again, we have to observe which one is closer to 0. 0 0.0625 or 1. Obviously, this value is closer to 0. Mas malapit sa 0. So we replace Okay, the limit that gives positive a 1. We have to replace 2, which is B, with the new value of C. So this is the same as 1.75 minus 1.5, B minus A, 0 0.25. Our new limits, this is 1.5, 1 1.75. F of A, this is the same as negative 0 0.75. At 1.75, that is the same as the 0 0.06, 25. Then, we are just to repeat the process. Okay, average. We have 1.5 plus 1.75 divided by 2. That is 1.625. Then, this value squared less a 3. That is now again, you go back with the negative sign, negative 0 0.359. What was our last negative value? The last negative value is negative 0 0.75. Which one is closer to 0? Obviously, this one. Alright? So that is, we have to replace f of a. That is, the value of a will be replaced by the value of c. So if you have to take the difference, that is 1.75 b minus the new value of A. So it is 1.75 minus 1.625. So a new difference of 0 0.125. Okay, uh, so we have the new value of A is 1.625. Uh, the value of B will remain 1.75. At 1.625 it is negative 0. 359 at 1.75, the same 0 0.06, 25. Repeat the process. We have to arrange 1.625 plus 1.75 divided by 2 is 1.6875. 1.6875 squared less 3 is equal to negative negative 0 0.1 uh, 5 2 so what was our last negative value negative 0 0.359 which one is closer to 0 or this one is 1 okay so I any last negative value natin last negative value is 0 0.359 which one is closer mas malapit sa 0 si 0 0.15 uh, 2 so this is 0 0.359 is given by the value of A so we replace the value of A with the value of C. So since this is now our new value of A, I subtracted from this value. We have 1.75 minus 1.6875. I we have a new difference of 0 0.0625. And then we have now our new lower limit. This is 1.6875. This will remain 1.75. At 1.6875, this is negative 0 0.152. As you can see, we have I pass negative then positive sign. Can you observe this one? Then at 1.75, this time 0 0.0625. Repeating the process, average 1.6875 plus 1.75 divided by 2. This is now 1 point. 
14, uh, 4. Okay, when the difference of B minus A is now less than 1, 0, 1. It is only 0 0.0081. This value is closer to 0 compared to this value. Okay, this is our value. Okay, at 1.7344, this is the closest value to 0 compared to this one and compared to this uh, one. So therefore, that will be our answer.